That's really good. Welcome to the Obsessive Gardener. Obsessive Gardener. Uh, today um, I'm going to try out a couple peppers. Um, you may recognize this one has got a lot of fame lately. This is the King Star Lemon Starburst and believe it or not I have never tried one yet. I don't know if that's focused or not. I have my camera woman get that up close. Beautiful. It's got a little tail on it. So these are like supposed to be really good. Um, I actually have a plant growing actually planted like probably like 10 seeds and then like almost all of them croaked I think I have one that's just barely doing anything and then there's one that um, I put under a little I've shown it in my gardening updates uh, my garden updates it's like under a little like makeshift kind of like greenhouse thing that I made uh, well I didn't make it it's like a it's like a plastic drawer flipped upside down hovering over it so it kind of helped it um, get the warmth it needed so where we live is it's pretty cold um, in the summertime and I don't have a greenhouse or a hoop house or anything like that so it actually helped it but the only thing is I think that pepper uh, that, those seeds were um, sure they were open pollinated and it looks like it crossed with something else and so it kind of looks like a Kangstar you know Kangstar a popped Kangstar lemon starburst or like a popped balloon it's just kind of I'll put a picture up to show you um, I thought maybe it was just that one that was like that, but then the plants started putting off more pods recently, and they all are kind of like that elongated look. So, I don't know. Anyways, all that just to say, um, this is the first time I've ever tried that. Now, here's another really cool pepper. This is actually the same cross. It's an MOA Scotch Bonnet uh, cross with a Bahamian goat, and it's called a Kang Star Peach Starkist. I hope I said that right. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. A peach, a gang star peach starkist. And so it's a, it's the same cross. It's just, um, it's just a different variation, a very beautiful looking pod. So I can't wait to try these. So I'm not really going for like heat. I'm really going for, um, comparing flavors. So I'm just going to cut a little piece off of both of these. Um, so what I've heard is they're not crazy hot, but they're not like not hot either. So I don't know. I'm not sure like if it's habanero, if it's less than that, more than that, but I don't think it's like, um, like ghost pepper or, or super hot or anything like that. Okay. Um, I'll cut it open a little bit just so you can see. I just cut off a little piece that I'm going to eat. Let me get this off of there. Um, we are in the Santa Cruz mountains right now. Um, and literally right across the street uh, is all burned up, ash all over the street. I'm going to show a little footage in this video of just, um, it's sad, some of the devastation that's been going on. It's been the worst year in California, uh, I think, since they kept record for forest fires. Um, so there's the inside. Thank you, my beautiful camera woman. <laughs> and we'll cut open this one real quick, too. This one, I don't know. I'm, I'm like a little bit more excited about this one for some reason. So we're going to see if they taste the same, different. I can already smell this one. Mmm. Ooh, that smells really good. I'm not trying to get these seeds mixed up either. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to cut a little piece off this one. Just going for flavor, really, comparison. So, um, let's try the lemon starburst. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really sweet. Really good. It's got a fair amount of heat. I'd say habanero-ish heat. But, <clears throat> it's got a real, um, citrusy, uh, sweet flavor to it. Uh, yeah. I can see why there's so much rage over this pepper. And um, thank you, Mark Wilkerson, who did send these to me, sent me a big box um, of peppers. 
and these were in that box. Um, yeah, that's really good. Um, I can't wait to eat the rest of that later. Okay, so that was a living Starburst. Um, heat level, if I'm going to go on heat level, I mean, I just ate the little little piece at the bottom. You know, it's somewhere around uh, like a four for me. So I'd say um, that piece, at least, that I tried is somewhere around habanero heat. Okay, so let's try the Kang Star Peach Star Kiss. And that one has a lot of oils. This one does have... Uh, it's all on the tree. It is, yeah. Well, it's very juicy, too. It's all over the knife, too. I haven't cleaned this knife since I uh, cut the last pepper, which was the chocolate um, Maruga Scorpion Cross with a Yellow Reaper, which was almost killed me. Anyways, Peach Star Kiss. Here we go. Flavor comparison. Wow. That's really good. I'm going to try to talk my wife into trying a little piece. Oh, <laughs> bless you. Thank you. It's like super quiet where we're at right now, so you can hear every little sneeze and sound. <laughs> Do you want to try a little piece? That one was not like that piece, Starkist. I don't know if it's because the heat from that one mm. is overpowering, but it was like nothing. Can I talk in a little I sliver? Yes. Okay. <laughs> little tiny piece. Really sweet. She's Definitely. crying because she has no makeup. Oh, <laughs> give me a break, honey. You're beautiful. Like, yeah, it's not horrible like the other ones. Yeah. It's bearable. That's yummy. <laughs> wow. It's the burns on the tip of my tongue. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Yeah, these are good peppers. No, it wasn't horrible. I could chop that up and put it in a taco. For sure. All right, um, so there it is. Uh, it'd be really hard for me to say which one I like the most. Um, that was good. They're both really, really good. Um, I don't know. Maybe because it was the first one I tried, maybe the Lemon Starburst by just a hair was a little bit tastier. But um, the, they were both really, really good. Mm -hmm. There's no way. There's I, To be honest, it's really a tie between the two. Heat level for me, now whenever I do two peppers, and the first one is always seems hotter. So I can't really say, oh, I'm it's not way... Dying. It's way hotter than the Peach Star Kiss. It's just, I mean, it could be. Um, it's just, I think when I have something, you know, I have a pepper and then I try another one, the second one's always going to seem like less just because I think I've already burned my mouth. Uh, anyways, thank you for uh, stopping by and checking out the Obsessive Gardener. There is a, um, a seed giveaway, not on these... There is a seed giveaway on the Tom's Bomb F2, and that's on the Soil vs. Hydro video. I'll put the link down below. It's when I hit 250 subscribers, we're going to give away seeds. Um, I said two in the original video. I, I think I'm going to bump that up to four people. So all you got to do is click the link in the description for the Soil vs. Hydroponic video. Leave a comment. Like, subscribe. You have to subscribe. You have to like the video. Leave a comment below, and then I'm going to randomly pick... A comment. We'll pick four, and there'll be four winners. I think I'm at 235 subscribers right now. So, um, what's the math on that? 15 more people? Yes. <laughs> 15 more people subscribe. We're on and cracking with the Tom's Bomb F2, if you're interested. All right. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please like and subscribe.